Hey yo, welcome back guys, Nemesis here, and in this video, I'm just going to be playing some Royal Giants because I haven't really played Royal Giants on the channel in a really long time. So, uh, you know, I figured I'd just replay it for a little bit, and um, I'm sure you guys like RG content as well anyway, so, you know, it's really nice, and um, just playing the really fast cycle variation because... I feel like this is probably one of the more popular variations with the super fast cycle, you know, with the goblins and stuff like that. So, yeah. He's going for a Lumberjack, and, you know, he already played Tornado, so I think this is, you know, Lumberloon. And, um, to be quite honest, this is not that good of a matchup because I only have Phoenix for my air card. If I had the Electro Wizard as well and replaced for, you know, like, the, the goblins, then, um, it would definitely be better for me, but, um, I'll try to make it work, you know. This is kind of like playing against Lava Loon, or you know, like any Lava decks where if they're aggressive, you gotta be aggressive. So um, that's the way you're gonna want to get some damage. And uh, yeah, you gotta also try to have really good Electro Spirits. Like if you're gonna push with Royal Giants at the bridge, try to make sure you have like an RG in hand or like a Fireball in hand. Or not a Fire. I mean, wait, you gotta make sure you have an Electro Spirit in hand or a Fireball in hand because you need a reset for the Inferno Dragon. Um, so he's going for a Lumberjack. I'll just go for my Fisherman right here just to pull it in the middle. Okay, so he's going for Tornado. This is what I'm talking about. He's kind of aggressive right there. And, you know, since uh, I have Fireball, yeah, he plays an Infernal Dragon. So I'm going to take a Fireball on top of that Infernal Dragon because it's going to reset the timer essentially. And it's going to give my RG a good amount more shots. So yeah. Right here, I also kind of just want to reset a little bit and, you know, just get my elixir back and uh, just see what he wants to do, honestly. Um, I'm in a pretty good spot. You know, I have a good amount of damage on both lanes, so I'm not too worried here. I'll just go for my barbarian barrel just to kind of force a response. And um, I'll go for my phoenix. Exactly. So we have to play a lumberjack for that. So I could just go for my fisherman in the middle and immediately follow up with the royal ghost. And... Um, this is looking pretty good. I'm definitely going to take a Fireball on top of the Electro Dragon plus the Bowler. It's pretty good value in my opinion. And um, I'll just go for my Electro Spirit High to pretty much just distract the Bowler for a little bit right there. I'll go for my Fisherman right here. And, um, you know, like this is looking good. I'll just go for my Royal Giants right here. And uh, I'll go for my Ghost opposite lane. And I'll go for my Electro Spirit to reset the timer on the Infernal Dragon. And, uh, you know, my Phoenix with the Balloon, totally fine. My Ghost is still alive right there, so... Okay, that's good. I'll just take a Fireball on the right-hand lane. And that is a really nice tower down, so really well played right there. Let's go ahead and jump to the next match. Here is the next match, and let's see what this guy's got for me. So, um... Not really doing anything, honestly. I'll just go for some Goblins right here, um, just to kind of force a play out from him. And he's got goblins himself, so right here I'll just go for a Barbarian Barrel, just because, you know, he doesn't have goblins, and he's got a Hog Rider, so this is basically a free king activation. Hopefully, okay, yeah, so hopefully I was going to say he doesn't have Tornado because he had goblins, so I was thinking, like, he was that, you know, Hog Rider Executioner deck with, you know, the Valkyrie and stuff, like, that's a pretty annoying. Actually, that matchup isn't that bad. They really only get, you know, a crazy amount of damage if they play a Tornado first play like that. But thankfully, um, yeah, like, this guy definitely does not have that variation of Hog Rider, so, um, I'm chilling. He's got a Bomb Tower, so he played Mighty Miner and Bomb Tower. So, with that being said, I think he actually loses his tower here, <laughs> because I could just cycle back to another Royal Giant, um, and he doesn't have Mighty Miner in rotation, which is his literally, or yeah, his literal best answer towards Royal Ghost. So, there's nothing he can do to defend that push. Um, yeah, there's really nothing he could have done right there, so that is a really, really nice tower down. And, um, right here, I just gotta play some good defense, you know, you know, like, play Fisherman's in the middle and stuff like that. Um, I also have to Electro Spirit to protect my Fisherman from, like, too much damage and stuff. Go for my Royal Ghost on this. And that was actually really good Goblins on his end. I'll give him credit for that. That was actually really well played, so it gave him way too much damage or a ton of damage, but... He's got the Evolve Firecracker. Now, that was a pretty bad play, in my opinion. Um, it's just going to take out the Evil Firecracker now. Typically, you want to play the Firecrackers at the bridge like that, but, you know, helps me out. 
I have to go for this Electra Spirit, otherwise this Hog Rider will get a shot, which is super annoying, but it happens. Um, let's see. I'll just go for my, like, Phoenix right here in the back. Just kind of play defense at this point. He can't really do anything else. Um, he's going for a Firecracker, so I'll just split my Goblins in the middle. I'll go for a Royal Ghost, you know, for that. Okay, he goes for a Hog Rider, so I'll just go for my Fisherman plus Phoenix and Electric Spirit to take no damage right there. And I think right here, I could just go for Royal Giants, like, same lane to my Fisherman, just in case he wants to play, like, a Mighty Miner or something like that. It would be totally fine. I'll just go for my Barbarian Barrel right here. Um, just kind of getting ready for the next Hog Rider, honestly. And, um, okay, so there's the Hog Rider. I'll just go for my Fisherman right here with some Goblins. And, um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. Wow. Um, yeah, let's go for the next match. Okay, here is the next match, and it is against Poop Scoop. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. I'll just go for my Barbarian Barrel right here, and uh, see what he wants to do for this thing. So he's going for a Prince. I'll just go for my Royal Ghost, and... I'm going to surround this prince with some goblins, you know, it's a pretty solid play, just kind of protecting the HP of my royal ghost and just giving it overall more value. And yeah, so... Okay, so he's got a Mega Knight. You know, that Mega Knight really shouldn't be that much of an issue because uh, he just used Prince and Prince is pretty much like his best support card behind a Mega Knight. You know, that combo is just super annoying to defend, but I don't really need to worry about it for the time being and uh, yeah. And I think right here, I also want to go for an RG because he used Prince, so he can't really DPS down this RG as fast as possible. This guy's got a bomb tower. Okay, um, definitely was not expecting that at all. So, uh, yeah, very interesting deck on his end, so, uh, yeah, I don't really even know. He's got Royal Hogs. I'll just go for my Ghost plus my Electra Spirit, and, okay, yeah, I had to play a Phoenix for that, um, you know, Flying Machine. I don't want to take too much damage. I kind of missed up. You know, my micro interactions right there, but um, it's not the end of the world, honestly. I should be fine. Um, I think right here, I also want to try to get, like, I'm going to wait for that firecracker because I want to try to get king activation. You know, um, overall, it's just going to help me out a ton against, you know, the mega knights or the princes. And uh, just super beneficial, honestly. Um, so there's the king activation right there. And uh, I'll just go for some goblins right here just to put on some pressure here. Okay, he's going to go for a Prince for that. Totally fine again. He used his Damage Dealer again. So my Prince can just, like, pop off. Not my Prince. My RG can pop off, pretty much. If I played at the bridge. So, um... Let's see here. He might Mega Knight this, honestly. Yeah, there's the Mega Knight. That was, like, the only thing he had in his hand. Because, like I said, he just used Prince and stuff like that. So, um... Okay, this guy's going absolutely crazy right now. And I definitely had to fireball that firecracker because I don't I just don't want to take any chances, you know. I just do not want to take any kind of chances. Um so let's see. I think he's back to Prince though, right? Um he's going for a flying machine plus a barbarian barrel. I'll just go for my fisherman right here. And um I'm gonna go for my Phoenix for the flying machine. I'm gonna go for my ghost plus goblins right there for a really nice defense. And this is gonna be a really nasty counter push. I could just go for barbarian barrel for the firecracker. And I'm also going to go for a Royal Giants right here because he just simply can't defend this push anymore. So, uh, yeah, he just used way too much Elixir and uh, I just kind of capitalized on it. So I play that matchup really well. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll do more in the future.